drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, go. And Team Rembrandt and their alliance partners, Falcon Robotics, both launching the power cells into their power port. Rivera Robotics and the Metal Crafters doing the same. But the Blue Alliance comes out just on top, 22 to 19. The Scorps dropping power, power cells into the lower power port for the Blue Alliance. And here comes 5869. The QHHS Robotics trying to play some defense. That gives their alliance partner Riviera Robotics and the Metal Crafters some time and breathing room to try and make up the deficit. And they have, it's now 37 to 33, the Red Alliance. Team Rembrandt and their alliance partner Falcon Robotics ranked sixth and 10th respectively in these qualification matches. Rembrandt's jetting back over. Let's see if they can get that upper port. And they do. That's one, two, three, four. Oh, they lost the fifth, but it bounces up and over. Metal Crafters looks like they get one, two. Yeah, they got three more in there, but the Riviera Robotics launched their payload. But unfortunately, it misses the mark. Metal Crafters spinning to try and get those power cells outside. And the Rembrandts regain the lead, 58 to 49, Blue Alliance. There's Riviera Robotics launching five power cells to take the lead back, 59 to 58, Red Alliance. 30 seconds left in the match. We have all three Blue Alliance robots. They look like they are poised and ready to climb on the generator switch. Can all three do it? Let's see. There's the Scorps. There's the Rembrandts. And there's Falcon Robotics. All three are hanging. That's a 90-point endgame. And time expires. The preliminary scores. And it's the Blue Alliance protecting First City. Generating 90 points in the end game to win 148 to 76. And three.